The much anticipated day had finally arrived. All of the practice for words, lyrics, and notes had come to an end. As I walked to my car to drive to the audition, my heart pounded in my ears to the point that I could hear nothing else. The radio turned on and vocal warm-ups began. The drive was short, and as I walked into the building, all of the words and lyrics came rushing to my mind. Nervousness overpowered me. The stairs seemed long and tiring as I trudged to the top. As the room appeared around the bend, the music from Oklahoma filled the air. As I looked back over the weeks of preparation, I remembered the moments of studying and trying to understand the character of Aunt Eller. The many videos, songs, and examples of different actors helped to formulate the idea of what Aunt Eller really represented. K. Pierre, a blog writer, declares that emotions are one of the most important things when it comes to acting. Without emotions, you are not acting. She further states that the more emotions, the better you can hook your audiences. This is a very true statement. Through all of the preparation to become Aunt Eller, learning how to portray her emotions in every scene presented the most difficult challenge. Now, after all of the work was behind me, the time had come. The room buzzed with excitement as the potential cast members rehearsed for one final time. The auditions finally began. As I heard my name being called, I had to force myself to draw a breath. The room became quiet as I began to sing the first note of what would become a very memorable song, The Farmer and the Cowman. After the song ended, I was not convinced that I had done my best, but the auditions went on. As the singing portion of the audition ended, the daunting task of running lines loomed ahead. The storyline dis displayed Aunt Eller as the leader and motherly figure, yet she had an edge to her and was always ready to interject a sarcastic comment. My name was called, and yet again, the nervous feeling hit me immediately. I stood, poised and ready for the challenge ahead. This particular scene happened to be the very first opening lines of the play. It was a scene of sarcasm and wit, and also one full of hope and longing. As the scene continued on, I slowly began to relax, and tried to imagine myself in Oklahoma, on a farm, churning butter. Two hours quickly passed, and the auditions came to a close. As we were all told that callbacks would be posted the next day, hope and confidence stirred within me. I was ready and excited to see the results of hard work, to see if the part had been given to me. The next morning came with mixed feelings of excitement and anxiety. No one could talk about anything else besides auditions and callbacks. Slowly, word spread that one particular part had not been decided on and callbacks would be taking place. As school let out that day, I left feeling confident in the fact that the next day, the agony of waiting would be over. I did not realize, however, how that confidence would be shattered. That night, as I was at dinner with my family, my phone rang. As I looked down to see who was calling, my heart sank and I began to panic. The Oklahoma director's name appeared in bold white letters on the screen. Time seemed to stand still. My heart began to pound as the dreaded words came through the phone. I was being called back. Those few words completely destroyed my excitement and hope. That night soon became a night that I would always remember. Disappointment completely overtook the night. This audition was the first time that I had really gone out of my comfort zone and taken a chance in an area that was completely uncomfortable and unfamiliar. As if in a daze, I began again to try to perfect the character of Aunt Eller. I had no idea if I had what it took to transform into the strong, courageous leader that exemplified her. All kinds of doubts crept into my mind and I struggled through the preparation for the next day. As the time for the callbacks came to begin, all I could tell myself was to keep going and that I could do this. The walk up the stairs to the audition room was an extremely long one. As we began callbacks, tension filled the room. The stakes were high and everyone realized it. The songs began and to my great delight, I nailed every single note perfectly. I felt myself relaxing a little as the callback transitioned into acting. We were given a scene that had never been rehearsed before and this was not expected. The scene was one of the most important scenes in the play, full of passion, anxiety, and relief. The fact that I had to portray all of these emotions in one scene became absolutely mind-boggling. The whole process was one of the most difficult experiences I had ever experienced. As I walked out of the room that night, I knew that I had put every fiber of my being into that audition, and the decision no longer remained in my hands. Morning came, and the moment I had been waiting for was finally upon me. As I entered the school, the door flew open and one of my very best friends appeared. 
The excitement written on her face was all that I needed to know to realize that my goal had been reached. I moved quickly down the hallway and I could see the piece of paper posted on the office window. As I drew near enough to read the names, I discovered my name on the list. I received the part of Aunt Eller. This entire memory came flooding back into my mind on the night of the very last Oklahoma performance. As the final song was sung and the curtain closed, all that was going through my mind was the fact that the last three and a half months created some of the most precious memories I had ever experienced. Through the challenging times and successful triumphs, playing the part of Aunt Eller truly became one of the greatest blessings. As I took a final bow, emotion overpowered me as I realized that the time of playing Aunt Eller had come to a close. All of the tears, smiles, and laughs would be greatly missed. The dressing room door closed softly behind me as I walked backstage for the very last time. Walking down the steps to leave the, fa- to leave the stage felt so final. As I drove home that night, all of the memories crowded my mind. The breeze brushed my face from the open window, and I realized that I would not trade the experience and process of becoming Aunt Eller for anything in the world. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain, and the waving wheat can sure smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. 